high in the Himalayas where the air thins and sound dies, there is a lake that holds a secret India has never solved. Roopkund, a frozen bowl of ice, snow and over 800 skeletons scattered like some ancient battlefield. For decades, we told ourselves a simple story. Maybe a pilgrimage went wrong. Maybe a storm hit. Maybe nature did what nature always does at 5,000 meters. But then the science came and the myth shattered. Because when the DNA came back, it revealed something darker. The dead didn't belong to one timeline. They belonged to centuries. One group from around 800 CE, South Asian, possibly pilgrims. Another from, from the 1800s, with DNA pointing toward the Mediterranean, close to Greeks and Cretans than anyone from India. A few more with Southeast Asian ancestry, different eras, different origins, all dying in the same remote death bowl. And the land itself tells stories the living cannot. Skull fractures, round, deep dents. Injuries that match mine. Hailstones the size of iron balls. A storm so violent it crushed bone. But even that explanation collapses under its own weight. Because not all skeletons have hail injuries. And not all died at the same time. Some fell a millennium apart. So the question rises from the ice. What were Mediterranean travelers doing at a secret lake in the Himalayas? 200 years ago? What brought multiple groups across centuries to the same killing ground? A ritual site, a hidden road, a mass pilgrimage repeated through time. Or something else? Something still buried under that frozen silence. The mountain gives no answers. Only bones. Only fractures. Only timelines that refuse to align. Rupkund is not a lake. It's a ledger. A record of deaths no one can explain.